it's Sophia Bay and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing my own box braids. Now, this is my first time trying box braids on myself. So, I'm going to be doing them jumbo. Even though this is literally my first time doing box braids on myself I wanted to do it on camera just so I could show y'all my experience I'm really and I say it a lot in all my videos <laughs> I really don't know how to braid I just started teaching myself and I've been practicing a little bit but I do very much consider myself a beginner braider so um, for this video we're gonna be doing the rubber band method and what that is is you take these rubber bands and you section out your hair and part it and tie it up first before you put the braids on it. I heard that was a little bit easier. Uh, we're not doing knotless or anything. So this is very much beginner friendly. Figure out, you know, is it hard? Is it something that you can do yourself as a beginner braider? We're gonna see how it turns out. I've been looking at a lot of YouTube videos <laughs> to see which one I like and I found this video, if I could pull it up. I found this video on um, YouTube stories that I'm gonna put, and it's by Dope AXX Pana. Um, <laughs> it was one of these random channels, and I seen that video, and I kind of wanna do it like that maybe a little bit bigger but this is like basically my inspiration and i went to the hair store and i meant to grab clear beads because i wanted to do the beads at the end but i forgot so i'm gonna just use these white beads that i have the hair that i'm gonna be using what is this what's this brand this is the hair this is the hair that i'm gonna be using in the color 1b I always thought this girl looked like Beyonce. Y'all think she looked like Beyonce? It's really this picture. She looked like, you know, old 2000 Beyonce. She's giving me those vibes. But um, they was on sale, honey, so there was three for five. So I got nine. I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough. I hope it is. I don't know. <laughs> Like I said, I've never done this before. <laughs> it's crazy that I would come on camera, but I've never done this before. So um, we'll see how it turns out. The products that I'm going to be using is the She's Bomb Edge Control. I've heard great things about this edge control, so I seen it in the hair store and I decided to pick it up. This is what I'm going to be using to make my parts and do my braids. And I got my comb. And we're gonna start making the parts. In the videos I've been watching, people have been doing it like different ways. Um, some people start from the front, some people start from the back, some people make parts and then section those parts into parts, and some just really like freehand it. Um, me, I think I'm going to section my hair into two parts and then work with the back and then work with the front. So the parting is a little more challenging than I thought and the comb broke <laughs> it's hard to like get it straight I'm working with this double mirror thing but it's not working that well and I'm, that's as good as it's gonna get or else I'm gonna be here forever <laughs> Okay, so we done with the first row. I'm gonna let y'all see it. It's not bad. It's cute or whatever. This edge control though, is doing a thing. It is doing its thing for real. <laughs> Two rows done and this is taking 
a really long time i think i've been doing this for like 45 minutes and it's still not coming out perfect <laughs> but yeah i'm pretty happy with the parts so far um uh, we just gonna power through it. I already knew it was gonna take a long time. So we just gonna keep on going And I'll see you on the other side <laughs> So I finished putting the rubber bands, now comes the hard part, the braiding. <laughs> so um, I think in total I had 22 uh, ponytails. It took way longer than I expected, like parting easy, but no, like I've been here for like two hours trying to make sure everything's perfect and even then there's still like a little bit of things that i can improve on <laughs> and again this is the hair that i'm using in the color 1d i'm gonna split each pack into two and then split the two into two like Use the three braids like that. Okay, so that's number one. One braid down, 21 more to go. I think it looks pretty okay. I'm excited to see how everything's gonna turn out. So here we go. Okay guys, so I'm at like the halfway mark right now. I'm a little bit worried that I'm gonna run out of hair. Um, out of the nine packs, I have three left and about uh, four, eight, ten braids. So, but luckily, I had a pack of pre-stretch braiding hair from another hairstyle that I did. So I'm praying that will be enough. Two hours into braiding, we're like halfway done. So let's keep going. <laughs> Okay. 
so I have only three more braids left and this is all I have from the first nine packs of hair but I do have this braiding hair I probably would have been good with like 12 maybe like 11 or 12 packs and that would be perfect but so far I'm really liking how the braids turn out they're stiff but that's gonna go away when I put them in some water I don't know if I explained it well enough but this is how I'm attaching the braids to my hair as you can see I have one piece draped over the other and then I'm gonna put this middle piece between these two fingers and hold this piece with my thumb you can see that makes like the three uh, parts for the braid and then I have this piece and, and I'm gonna put the ponytail with that middle piece and then braid it and then split up the hair I'm not sure if that's the best way to do it for tightness but it definitely helps if you're a beginner and we're just gonna braid it like normal once Oh, thank you. I have some water on the stove, so let me go do that little dip dip thing, and I will be right back. So these are the beads that I got. I decided to do four beads like that. I'm gonna cut off uh, the excess, but I finished the beads. So I'm gonna put the Argan Oil Style and Shine Foaming Mousse. Ooh. And while that dries, I'm also gonna put the Do Grow Mega Thick Formula hair oil and go ahead and oil the parts now and last step take the scissors uh, I would do with my hair scissors but I can't find them and I'm gonna cut off those long pieces at the end also any straggly ooh. Or uh, any straggly parts on the side of the braids. Finally finished after six and a half hours. It is 2.30 in the morning. I am tired. Would I say this hairstyle is beginner friendly? 100%. Um, it could use some work. There's, It's a little clumpy in some areas. But overall... It was pretty easy to do for my first time doing it. The beads and everything. And whew, I am tired. Was it hard? I would say on a scale from one to 10, it was like a four. And I'm a beginner, so it really was not hard at all. Be sure to check out my Instagram. I did a little Instagram version of this video if you want to go ahead and check that out you can be sure to like and subscribe and follow me on all my social media and i will see you guys in my next video and oh, i am tired i'm going to sleep cut the cameras <laughs>